This is the My Antenna Kiwi P1S laser distance meter. So I've actually used a handful of laser distance meters and this one comes with a few cool features that I haven't seen in other laser distance meters and this is really small. So in today's video I'm just going to briefly talk about this laser distance meter then I'm going to go over all of the functions of this meter which kind of applies for all laser distance meters and I'm going to talk about how and when you'd use each feature of a laser distance meter such as this. So out of the box this comes with a wrist strap, it comes with its own batteries and it also comes with a magnetic attachable mirror so that you could lay it down on a table or a counter ledge to measure the distance from the ground. It just has two buttons. You can press and hold the power button to turn it on and then you press and hold the setting buttons to go into the different settings. With the settings you can change the unit of measurement to meters or feet and inches. You can also change whether to measure from the front or the back of this unit and generally you'll want to do it from the back so you could press it up against the wall. You could also use it as a level so you can see the angles of anything. And then you have the option to play or mute the beeps that this laser distance makes. So now I want to go over the functions of this laser distance meter. And while I'm talking about this meter specifically, what I'm going to talk about will apply to almost any laser distance meter. So the main function you'll probably use a laser distance meter for is simply distance. The icon for this is just a line with dots behind it. And in this mode, it will continually show you what the distance is until you press the power button, then it will lock on the distance. So this is probably what you'd most commonly use a laser distance meter for. It's kind of just like a measuring tape, but it's a lot faster and easier than using a measuring tape. One cool thing about this laser distance meter is it has this cool attachable mirror so you can set it on the ledge of a table to measure that way. The second function I would like to show you is square feet. You can see this icon is just a simple square. Click the power button once for the length and once for the width and it will automatically multiply to get the square footage. So a common usage for this would be measuring something in the house, like if you want to lay down tile or carpet, you could use this to measure the square footage of a room. The next function for this is the cubic feet function, and the icon shows a cube. So you'd press the button once for length, once for the width, and once for the height, and it would automatically multiply everything together to get your cubic feet. Common use for this might be with landscaping, like if you need to measure the bed of your truck to see how much cubic feet of material you could put in it. You could simply use this and come up with an answer right away. Or any box or storage container, you can measure the cubic feet with this. A couple modes on this use the Pythagorean theorem. The first mode for this gets the height based off of two points, and the icon for this is a right angle triangle. To use this, you'd place the meter on the ground and press the power button on the bottom of what you're trying to measure, and then you'd press the power button again on the top of the item that you're trying to measure. So in this example, you can see that I'm measuring the wall to be 12 feet, and then I go up and I verify just by measuring the distance, I will get the same result. So a common use for this mode would be if you need to measure the height of something, and you can't get to the top of it. For example, if you are outside and you need to measure the height of the building, you could use this. Or if you need to measure how high a window is from the bottom of the building, you could use this very easily for something like that. The second Pythagorean theorem mode is for measuring the distance between any two points. The icon for this is a triangle that is not at a right angle. To use this, you'll want to hold the laser very carefully and then press the power button for each point you want to get the distance between. In this example, I measure the top of the hallway and the top of this ledge. I can go ahead and verify this by measuring to a shelf that's at the same height of the top of the hall ceiling 
and you can see that it is the same distance. So you'll want to use this mode for when you need to measure the distance between two points where you cannot physically be there. For example, if you were looking at a building and you wanted to see how wide or how tall a window was, you could use this. Or if you wanted to see how much space there was between the top of the building and the top of the window, you could use this without having to go to the top of the building or go to the window. So I hope this video was helpful. As I mentioned before, most laser distance meters are more or less the same. The one thing that you really want to look for is to see what the range of the laser distance meter is. Each laser distance meter has a different range. So if you need something that's really long, you'll have to check to see what the range of the laser distance meter is. And I just want to mention a few cool things with this laser distance meter that I think is fairly unique to this device. As I've mentioned before, it has the magnetic mirror for putting it on a ledge. That's really handy and convenient and it helps to get more accurate readings, especially on something where you can lay this flat. Another really cool thing about this is it actually displays the angles of whatever you're trying to measure. So this is really helpful for things where you need to get a precise angle. And because this laser distance meter has an LCD screen, you can actually use this when it's fairly dark inside or outside and you can still get a clear reading of the screen. And lastly, this laser distance meter is just a lot smaller than most I've seen. So it's really nice to put in your pocket. It doesn't get all bulky and uncomfortable. Uh, I've been really happy with this laser distance meter. I will go ahead and post a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself.